The Minister of Health and Family Welfare of the Government of Meghalaya, James P.K. Sangma, had spoken to media persons on various allegations made against him with regards to his involvement in the illegal coal mining in the state. Clarifying on the same, James P.K. Sangma denied having anything to do with illegal mining of coal in Meghalaya. He termed such allegations as mere accusations. Uh, the thing is that uh, it's one thing to uh, throw accusations at uh, people and it's something else to substantiate that with evidence. So, um, accusations fly left and right, they all know that. And, uh, there's nothing that uh, I, I have not seen the video, but whatever it is, I'm very sure it's something that uh, we have going on. These are just mere accusations. On the findings of the inquiry committee into the MEECL scam, James Sangma stated that he has no comments on it as he is no longer holding the portfolio of power minister. At the same time, he reiterated the fact that the chief minister's statement on the report has to be taken into account. I'm no longer power minister, yeah, so I'm not privy to that report. Has that report been tabled? No, but the chief minister told us that they have found out that for nothing from any difficulty in the Tokyo report. I could not know till I've read the reports, to be very honest. But then uh, this is something that uh, we always maintain that uh, all procedure was followed. There was nothing at all in the, the process. And, uh, you know, uh, I think that if Chief Minister is saying that there was nothing in that report, we have to believe that, that there is nothing in that report. And, uh, it was an independent inquiry, so uh, carried out by uh, a retired justice of this uh, high court. So uh, we have to go by that, I guess. On the statement made by the leader of the opposition, Dr. Mukul Sangma, on the incorrect terms of reference to the MEECL report, James Sangma said that aspersions to the report would also mean aspersion to the people involved in the inquiry committee that is headed by a retired justice of the High Court. The um, leader of the opposition, when he gets an opportunity to, uh, you know, when he had the opportunity to say that, Thank you.